Hey friends! Today we'll be making the Matahari Granny Crop Top. If you didn't know the meaning of Matahari, it also translates to the sun. And with that being my inspiration, I wanted to share some sunshine patterns for you this summer. And before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Now let's get started. For this pattern, I'm using Cascade Fixation Yarn in the color Sea Glass. This is a category 3 weight yarn that's super stretchy and light perfect for this project. You'll also need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, a measuring tape, a tapestry and needle, a pair of scissors, and you can also add some decorative beads and a bra insert if you'd like. These are all optional by the way. Now to begin, we'll first work up a magic ring or a magic circle. We'll wrap the yarn around our finger like this. We'll remove and insert your hook through the ring, drop a loop, hold the ring with the other hand and pick up your working yarn and chain one to secure. Now I'm removing the tail from the ring so that it will be easier to pull later on. Now let's work 12 double crochet stitches in the ring. So on my first stitch, I'll just pull my loop slightly higher and I'll work a double crochet. This will be my first stitch. So we'll continue working 12 double crochets all the way around and I'll meet you back here once we're done. Once you've completed 12 double crochet stitches, pick up the tail and pull the tail tightly until the entire ring is closed up. Look for that first stitch that you did earlier, insert your hook, and work a slip stitch. Chain 2 to start your next round. For the next stitch, we'll be working 3 double crochet puff stitches in the same slip stitch that we did earlier. So go ahead and work your last double crochet stitch. You should have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Next, we'll chain 2 and work another set of three double crochet puff stitches in the next stitch. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all loops. We'll chain two and repeat the same stitch in each stitch all the way in the round and I'll meet you back here once we're done. Once you've completed the last stitch, we'll slip stitch onto the first stitch to close the round. Make sure you have 12 puff stitches in total. Next, we'll chain 10. And we'll work a single crochet in the chain space. We'll chain 10 again. And we'll single crochet on top of that puff stitch. Now repeat these two stitches in the round and I'll meet you back here before closing that last loop. On your last loop, only work up a total of 5 chains and yarn over 4 times. This will be a triple treble stitch. Insert your hook into that first stitch to join. Drop a loop, pull through 2, pull through 2, pull through 2, 5 times. So this will be our last loop. Next, we'll chain 2 and single crochet into the next loop. You'll continue to chain two and single crochet into the next loop all the way in the round. Chain three. 
Once you've reached the end of the round, chain two and slip stitch onto the first stitch to close the round. Next, we'll start working on our corner stitch. So look for the next chain space, insert your hook, and work one single crochet. Now we'll be working a double crochet. So chain two, work another double crochet in the same space, chain two, work another two sets of double crochet in the same chain space. So this will be referred to as our corner stitch as we will be working this stitch on every corner. Next, we'll be working double crochet stitches on each stitch and in each chain space. We'll work a total of 11 double crochet stitches or five chain spaces in total before working on our next corner. Once we've completed one side, go ahead and work another corner stitch on the next chain space, which is a two double crochet stitches, chain two, and another two double crochet stitches. And repeat the double crochet stitch all the way across for a total of five chain spaces and another set of corner stitch. And this is how the other corner should look like. Now go ahead and finish off the other two sides and I'll meet you back here once we're done. Once we finish all corners and we're at our last stitch, insert your hook through that first stitch to join. Single crochet in the chain space and chain two. Work up the corner stitch, chain two, two double crochets. Next, we'll be working on our V stitch or our triangle stitch. We'll skip the first stitch and work a double crochet on the second stitch. Chain two and work another double crochet in the same stitch. That's your first V stitch. We'll skip two stitches and work a double crochet on the third stitch, chain two, and just like before, we'll work another double crochet in the same stitch. So repeat this triangle pattern until you've reached the second last stitch. I've just reached the second last stitch, so I'll chain two and work my last double crochet in the same stitch. Then I'll continue working on the corner stitch and repeat the same pattern as we did all the way on each corner. Once we've completed each corner on that last stitch, we just slip stitch onto the first stitch to close the round. Single crochet into the chain space and work up another corner stitch. Next, we'll be working double crochet stitches on each stitch. So find the top of the triangle and work one double crochet, followed by two double crochet stitches on the chain space. Repeat one double crochet on the tip of the triangle and two double crochet in the chain space. And repeat all the way across. Here I'm at my last triangle. I'll look for the tip and work my double crochet stitch on top of that triangle. Then I'll skip the two double crochet stitches and work my corner stitching and repeat the same pattern again in the round. Once we've completed the round on the last stitch, we'll slip stitch onto the first stitch to close. We have two more rows to go and I'm working on a size medium, but go ahead and check out more sizes available in the link below. Next, insert your hook into the chain space and work a single crochet. Chain two and work the corner stitches. We'll chain two, skip the first two stitches and work a double crochet on the third stitch. 
From here, we'll continue working double crochet stitches on each stitch all the way across until you've reached the last third stitch. We'll chain two, we'll skip two, and go straight into the chain space and work our corner stitches. Chain two and repeat all the way across in the round. On your last stitch, you'll chain two, slip stitch onto the first stitch to close. On our last row, go ahead and insert your hook through the chain space, single crochet, and work up your corner stitch. Next, we'll work a double crochet in every stitch. So we'll work double crochet on these two stitches here, followed by two double crochets on the chain space, and then we'll double crochet each stitch all the way across. On the chain space, we'll work two double crochets followed by another two double crochets on the corner stitch. And then we'll repeat one set of corner stitch in the chain space. Now repeat these steps all the way in around and I'll meet you back here once we're done. Once we've completed our last row, it should look something like this with a width of seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. Now you can go ahead and make a second piece. Next up, I'll be showing you how to do the triangle. It's exactly like how we worked on the square, but instead we'll be working only half the amount of pattern required. Now let's first start off with the magic ring. Now just like before, we'll wrap the yarn around our fingers like this, remove and insert your hook through the ring. We'll draw up a loop, pick up your working yarn and chain one. Next, we'll work up our double crochet stitches, but in this case, we'll work seven double crochet stitches. Once we finish making seven double crochet stitches, we'll pick up the tail and pull tightly. Now you'll have half a circle. On our next stitch, we'll chain two and turn our work. And here we'll be working three double crochet puff stitches in the same stitch. So go ahead and work your second and third double crochet stitch, drop a loop, Pull through all loops and chain two. Continue working the puff stitch in each stitch and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. On our next row, we'll be working on the 10 chain loop. So go ahead and work up 10 chains. We'll turn our work. We'll insert a hook through the chain space and work a single crochet. Work up 10 chains and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat these steps all the way across. On our last loop, we'll work five chains and we'll yarn over four times and work a triple treble stitch on that last stitch. On the next stitch, go ahead and chain two. A second chain here, and then we'll work a single crochet into the loop, chain two, and single crochet into the next loop. Repeat this all the way across. On your last loop, chain two and single crochet 
into that last loop. Now we'll be working on the corner stitch. So here we'll chain two as a double crochet and chain two as our chain space. We'll turn our work and into the same stitch, we'll work two double crochet stitches. So here, this will be our side corner stitch. Now our next stitch would be a double crochet stitch. So go and insert your hook into the chain space and work a double crochet and into the next stitch and repeat this for a total of 10 double crochet stitches or until you've reached the fifth chain space. Once you've reached the top of the triangle, go ahead and work your corner stitches. Two double crochet stitches, chain two, two double crochet stitches in the same stitch and then work your double crochet on the next stitch followed by the next chain space all the way until the end of the row. Once you've reached that last corner stitch, go ahead and work two double crochet stitches, chain two, and one double crochet stitch in the same stitch. Now go ahead and chain four and turn your work. Now your triangle is beginning to form. Now we'll work our corner stitches by working two double crochet stitches into the chain space like so. Next we'll be working the triangle pattern. So go ahead and skip two stitches and work a double crochet on the third stitch, chain two, work a double crochet in the same previous stitch skip two and work a double crochet. Repeat these steps all the way until the third last stitch. So you'll skip the two double crochet stitches and work a set of corner stitches. Then you'll skip two stitches and work a double crochet and continue working on the triangle stitches all the way across. On the last third stitch, we'll go straight into working the corner stitch by working two double crochet stitches, two chains and a double crochet stitch in the same stitch. Now let's go ahead and chain four and turn our work. On this row, we'll be working double crochet stitches in each stitch and two double crochet stitches in each chain. So go ahead and work that corner stitch followed by a double crochet on that first triangle stitch, two double crochet stitches on the chain space, and repeat these steps until you've reached the corner stitch. Work up a set of corner stitch, and then work your way down, and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. Once you're at the last corner, go ahead and work a set of corner stitches, chain four and turn your work. Now go straight into working another corner stitch. Chain two. Skip two. And work a double crochet stitch. Work double crochet stitches on each stitch across until you've reached the next corner stitch. Repeat the same steps and I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. Once you're at that last stitch, chain two, skip two, and work a set of corner stitches. Chain four and turn your work. Work a corner stitch, 
Now on your last row, we'll be working on each stitch and on each chain space. So work a double crochet on the first two double crochet stitches followed by two double crochet stitches in the chain space and double crochet all the way across. Work up a set of corner stitches and work your way down until the end of the row and I'll meet you back here once we're done. On our last chain space, I'm working up my two double crochet stitches and my last double crochet stitch and I'll finish it off with a corner stitch. So I'm working two double crochets in the chain space. I'll chain two and my last double crochet stitch, I'll chain one to secure and I'll bind off. And once you're done, it should look something like this with the corners a little bit curved up. Now go ahead and make two more pieces. By now, you should already have two squares and three triangles done. Arrange them by placing the squares at the top and the three triangles at the bottom. We'll be stitching each corner here from this side down and up and all the way across. So now let's go ahead and pick up these two pieces and move the rest aside and we'll prepare to slip stitch across. Fold the two pieces in half and insert your hook at the corner chain space. You want to make sure that the right side is facing outwards. Pick up your yarn, drop a loop and chain one. Now for this stitch, we'll be working on the inner loop. So on this side, I'm picking up the loop furthest away from me. And on the next piece, I'm picking up the loop closest to me. So I'm working on the inner stitches of both pieces. So I'll insert my hook through that back loop of both pieces, like so. And I'll work a slip stitch. You want to make sure that each time you pick up the stitches, you're working on the same stitch as the other side. This will give you an even stitch once you've reached the end of the row. So go ahead and continue working slip stitches on each stitch on the back loops until you've reached the end of the row and I'll meet you back here once we're done. And this is how your finished joint should look like. It's pretty smooth without any bumps or humps. So once you've reached the corner stitch, just go ahead and insert your hook through that chain space and work a single crochet. This is our first joint piece. Now go ahead and arrange your piece like how it was earlier and place your second triangle at the side. So you'll fold the two pieces together and insert your hook back into the same chain space as you did earlier and into the new triangles corner and work another single crochet. So just like before, you wanna find that first stitch and place your hook through the back loop and the same thing on the other piece and work a slip stitch. Repeat this on each stitch all the way across. So I've just completed my second join and I'm at my corner stitch. So I'll work a single crochet and this is how it should look like. My next piece would be the square piece. So I'll place it where it should be like so. And I'll pick up the two pieces. 
I'll insert my hook through that corner stitch of both pieces and work another single crochet. Continue working the slip stitch through the back loop all the way across and work your last triangle as well and I'll meet you back here once we're done with that. Once all pieces are joined, it should look something like this. Now we'll go ahead and work on the bottom piece. We'll turn our work down side up and we'll insert a hook through that corner stitch. Take your yarn and drop a loop. We'll chain one to secure. On this row, we'll work single crochet stitches evenly across. So on this row, I'll work two double crochet stitches on each corner stitch. and work five single crochets on the triple treble stitch. You could also work four single crochets as long as it's distributed evenly across. So go ahead and work your single crochet stitches all the way across and I'll meet you back here once we're done. On your last stitch, chain one and turn your work. Now on this row, we'll work double crochet stitches on each stitch. Do this all the way across. On your last stitch, chain one and turn your work. On the next stitch, we'll be working a similar pattern to the puff stitch, which would be a three double crochet stitch together. So go ahead and work three double crochet stitches on the next three stitches. Yarn over and pull through all loops. We'll chain two and go straight into the next unworked stitch and work the next three double crochet stitches. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Repeat this pattern all the way across. Now on your last group stitch, if you don't have enough stitches, just finish off whatever number of stitches you have left here. Instead of having three stitches, I have only two stitches left. So I'll work two double crochet stitches together. Now I'll chain one, and we'll be working on the next row, which would be the 10 chains. So go ahead and work up 10 chains. We'll turn our work. We'll find the chain space and work a single crochet. Chain 10. And single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way across. On our last loop, work five chains, yarn over four times, and on that last stitch, work a triple treble stitch. Next, we'll chain two and turn our work. We'll single crochet into the next loop, chain two, and repeat the same steps all the way across.
Next, we'll work the double crochet stitch. So we'll chain one and turn our work. Let's go straight into working the double crochet into the first stitch and work another double crochet into the chain space. We'll repeat this pattern in each chain space and in each stitch all the way across. On your last stitch, chain one and turn your work. The next row will be the triangle stitch. So let's work a double crochet into that first stitch. We'll skip the next two stitches and work a double crochet on that third stitch. Chain two, work a double crochet in the previous stitch Skip two, and work a double crochet. Repeat this triangle pattern all the way across. Once you've completed the triangle pattern, go ahead and work one more row of double crochet. For this top, you can also work two or three more sets of this bottom panel if you'd like it a little bit longer. Now let's go ahead and work on the straps. Now insert your hook through that corner chain space and drop a loop. We'll chain one to secure and I'll be working 70 chains for size medium. Once you've completed all your chains, We'll turn our work to the side. And you'll insert your hook through that first stitch at the bottom panel. We'll work single crochet stitches along this row. So make sure to distribute your single crochet evenly all the way across. And it'll also be nice to work around your access tail to help with tidying up the sides. On our next row, we'll chain one and turn our work. On this row, we want to have a somewhat similar pattern to what we did earlier. So go ahead and work double crochet stitches. I realized that I'm working a half double crochet stitch right now, but in fact, it should actually be a double crochet stitch. My apologies for that. Now, if you just ignore what I'm doing right now and just work double crochet stitches, instead on each stitch and on each chain all the way across, I'll meet you back here once we're done. Now go ahead and work that last double crochet stitch on the chain space and make sure you're working towards the neckline. You'll skip two stitches and slip stitch into the third stitch. Next, we'll chain two and turn our work. On the next stitch, we'll be working our triangle pattern. So now we'll skip the chain and skip the slip stitch and go straight into that first stitch and work our double crochet stitch. And this is our first triangle. Next, you'll skip two stitches and work another double crochet. Chain two, work into the same stitch as we did earlier skip two and double crochet. Repeat this pattern all the way across. On your last stitch, if you don't have enough stitches, just work the remaining two or four stitches that you have left. Chain two and work your last double crochet triangle. 
Next, you'll chain one, turn your work, and on this row, we'll work the double crochet three stitches together. Now on your first stitch, you'll just work a regular double crochet. Next, you'll work a double crochet three together in the chain space and on the stitch. So go ahead and work two unfinished double crochets and a third double crochet on the triangle stitch. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Chain two. And repeat the three double crochet stitches together, two in the chain space and one on the triangle stitch. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Chain two and repeat this pattern all the way across. On your last stitch, skip two stitches on the square and slip stitch. Now our final row will be a double crochet. So we'll work two more slip stitches. And chain one. Turn your work. We'll skip the three slip stitches and work the double crochet on that first stitch. Work a double crochet in each stitch and two double crochets in each chain space all the way across. And once you're done with a double crochet stitch, just bind off and you finish one side of the strap. Now go ahead and work the exact same pattern on the other side. I've just completed the other side of the strap. Now let's go ahead and work on the ties. Now take your yarn and pull approximately two arms length worth of yarn like this. Next, you'll grab the top of the yarn and pull some more. Now depending on how high you wanna start your ties, I'll be working on the bottom five loops, so I'll only pull up to four times. Now, You'll grab both yarns at the top like this and drag a second layer all the way down. Just snip off the remaining yarn and work up a double slip knot. You can change your hook to a bigger size if you'd like, but I'm okay with the same one. You'll insert your hook and work up double chains all the way till the end. And once you've reached the end and you can't chain anymore, just pull out that last loop and you should have a nice, long, and stretchy chain that's approximately 40 inches or 100 centimeters long. Here I have some decorative beads, which is completely up to you if you want to use them. I'll be adding them to the bottom of the ties. So I'll first insert my hook through the bead and pull through the bottom loop all the way through and work up a knot. And depending how wide your bead is, you might want to work up double knots instead. I'm pulling the knot tightly. We'll snip off the excess yarn at the bottom and pull down the bead. And it'll look something like this. Let's do it again on the other side. And there you go. We've just completed our ties. Now let's add them to our top. So like I mentioned earlier, you can add the ties anywhere along the straps, but for me, I would like to add them to the bottom of the panel instead. So I'll be working with the bottom five loops right here. And I'll insert the tie through the back of this loop and drag it halfway. 
I'll do the same thing on the other side. And I'll adjust the length just so that it's even on both sides. Next, I'll work a zigzag by pulling it through the third loop from the inner side. Then, I'll skip the next loop and pull through the last loop. Work up a bow tie and that's it! We're done! Congrats if you made it this far! I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, click that subscribe button below. Until we meet again, bye for now!